Yo, welcome back to the All You Can Stand Assorted Meats Buffet. I am your host for the day, Justin Jankin. We are back out here today on beautiful Baker Lake. It is the evening time right now. We've snuck out for a quick little evening scouting mission for a future video that I'll probably film tomorrow if this works out. We're currently sitting over about 70 feet of water off a... Oof. I wasn't ready. Intro. Oh, I lost him. Okay. Well, I'll do this intro fast. We are sitting in about 70 feet of water off a big, dirty point, jigging for some lake trout. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're jigging lake trout. Um, we'll talk after. This is a big mark. Holy smokes. That was the two most embarrassing hook sets I've ever committed in my life. Okay, so as I was saying, we're jigging lake trouts today, doing a little scouting mission for a video I hope to film in the very near future. We are jigging some Scented Outdoors Big Mama tube jigs, some of the finest tubes that I have ever put my hands on. I'll show you those in a moment. We are currently on top of what looks to be a bundle of lake trouts. Now, as some of you might know, your boy has some of the dirtiest hook sets in the business. Not that one though. So, expect violence absolutely mind-altering concussive hook sets as long as i'm ready though because there are like five fish here and i'm just trying to film an intro <sighs> okay no more playing around Whew. it is a beautifully calm and quite hot day today oh my goodness look at this big mark up high i got a reel up to that one that looks so much bigger Oh, that's a nice one. How nice? I'm not too sure. Oh, that's a really nice one. Sheesh. Big boy. You're going nowhere, fat daddy. You're going nowhere. Got him. All right. First nice one of the day. Whew. Look at that beaut. <laughs> Absolutely cranked that big old send it outdoors big mama tube. And that right there is a big mama. <laughs> okay, let's get this girl back. Oh. Sheesh. Oh, see you, bud. That is an absolutely awesome way to start the evening. Didn't take very long at all, but it appears as though these fish are deep. So let's get at it. I'll show you that bait before we get dialed in. This right here is the Send It Outdoors Big Mama line of tubes. Look at that beautiful scale pattern. Nice white color, which is a staple for your lake trout needs. Got it tipped with a little piece of Cisco belly. And got some high hopes for today. Literally took like two seconds to get bit there, so let's get situated. So we're fishing a great big point here, sticking out from the shoreline. As you can see, we're pretty close to shore and it's already 50 feet, which drops into 80 quite quickly. So there's a very, very sharp drop. Not a lot of wind today, so we're gonna be able to stay pretty vertical, which is quite crucial in jigging lake trout, or jigging in general anyways. So I am just gonna get us set up kinda on the other side of this point. The wind is blowing at us, so it will push us very slowly across the point. We'll cover the most water this way. And hopefully we'll catch some of those big mamas. Got a bunch of waypoints laid out there. There's one there that says stupid with an O, big. So that can't be a bad thing. So after some discussion with my boy Trent Lace, longtime homie, lake trout guide extraordinaire, former, former lake trout guide extraordinaire. He's retired and all washed up. He informed me that these lake trout are probably staging up off the deeper water, getting ready to find their spawning grounds for the fall time. Uh, we suspected that this little point here may be a spawning area. So yeah, I'm just gonna get us set up maybe a little deeper than this. We're in 42 now, I wanna be like 50 to 70, I'm thinking. All right, there's 45, that'll work. We'll blow over the deeper stuff very soon. Is 
There's a fish already, I think. Yeah, there's definitely a fish right on the bottom. Not very active though. Get posted up like Captain Morgan here, boy. That's that hook set stance. Oh, there's definitely a fish on the bottom there, creeping up. Oh, he just bumped it. He didn't hit it very hard though, that's for sure. Stupid. This fish just flew in and lifted it. Was not ready. Man, there are so many fish here. Holy smokes. Stupid. They're not getting hooked. I am using a fairly gigantic tube jig right now. So these might just be little dinks that we're weeding out, which is an effective strategy. This is purposeful that we're missing these fish. Oh, what? That feels better. Oh man, jigging is so fun. It's another fatty. Oh, that thing's fat. <laughs> Not super long, but it's fat AF. There it is. An absolute fat slob. It's my speared animal. See you, bud. Okay, two fish in not very much time. That's good. There's that bait. Send it outdoors tube, tipped with a little piece of Cisco gut. Oh, let's get that back down. Wow, that tube looks so good. Shout out to the boys that send it outdoors. These are the same tubes I was using ice fishing for the last couple of winters, and they are just fire. If you guys are wondering, those big flipping ships are just out from me. Those are the tugboats that deliver supplies in the summer to the community of Baker Lake. That's how people get vehicles shipped in and other large luxury items. That's also how fuel gets brought up. There's a fish. Ooh. I gotta get vertical. We're right above what looks to be a big freaking mark. But I am all willy nilly. All right. Let's get in our hook setting stance here. Adds like 19 horsepower to your hook set. Don't argue that stat, it is science. I felt that fish bite, but I knew it didn't have it in its mouth. <laughs> that one too, like F off, man. These fish are picking it up before I can even get to the bottom and they're not totally sucking it in. Frig off, you little dinks. Wow, we're over 80 feet now and it seems like there's a bunch more marks. Are they that deep? Water temps are not very hot as they never really get that warm up here in Nunavut. 55 we're looking at right now on the surface. So there isn't really much need for these lake trout to be that deep. But here they are. Oh, this fish is chasing it down. Come on, bite it, big boy. Man, this guy's slow. Chase faster, you fat pig. Oh, he's interested though. Just a hungry fat boy. Man, he chased it up like 50 feet. Whew. 
Craig's moving fast now. Just gotta make some fat jokes. Mm, there's a couple of fish down there now. Seems like as soon as we get over that 60 foot mark, that's where they're all at. Man, these effing fish, man. Why are they not getting hooked? Please get hooked. Whoa, there's a big mark chasing. There we go. This is tiny. Oh, I got off. Oh my God. <laughs> this is terrible. Well, I know for sure that was not big. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to catch it again as I flipped the bale and Jay got it. Now we're looking for big bites, don't forget. So it's okay that we're not hooking these dinks. Because for all the time that it takes to reel up a dink, you could be down there looking into a bigger fish like this one. This feels better. Mm, maybe not. Better anyways, not big though. There he is. I don't know if you can see that. Looks pretty dark on the camera. Doesn't even touch that medium threshold. Okay, sorry about that. See you, pal. Okay, so that fish was in 70 feet. It's looking like all these fish are coming from that 65 to 80 foot range. So that's where we're gonna hang out. And we're just gonna keep cranking them. This is so much flipping fun. Now, please note that that tube jig has probably been bit 20 times now that might be a slight exaggeration but it is still in pristine condition a couple little chew marks on it but still holding up man ain't that pretty I'm such a romantic i just love me a good sunset alone in a boat talking to myself it's romantic right Oh boy, that sun went down quick. We've only been out here for like two hours. We are running out of time, running out of daylight. Oh, there's one. Up high coming down. That's a good sign. It's probably a hungry fish. Oh, he stopped. He's turning. He's chasing. Got him. Oh, that feels nicer too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was... No, oh, he popped off. No. Wow, that's horrible. We needed that so bad. Oh, that sucks. F off. There we go. These fish aren't even fing biting the hook. Oh, there's a high fish. That one looks juicy, and the fish finder just turned to nighttime mode. No, where are you going, dude? Where are you going? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why are you doing this, sir? Don't you want to be on YouTube? Okay, well, we're going to have to wrap it up at that. Unfortunately, we are losing daylight super quickly. I can't really think of a lamer or more anticlimactic way to end a video than on a dropped fish. But as we know, all mediocre things must come to an end and we have reached that time. But to be fair, our plan wasn't to come out here and just make a total banger of a video. We're out here today to just see if we can find some fish for a future banger. And we definitely, definitely did that. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek as to what that banger is gonna be. What I have here, boys and girls, is a Shakespeare frozen ugly stick made for probably your daughter 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to catch a Big Mama Lake Trout using this here Shakespeare Frozen Ugly Stick. But stay tuned, that's what we're gonna get into next. Thank you guys all so much for watching as always. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna keep trying to crank out these videos and make as much content as possible, even if they're like pretty eh, subpar mediocre type situations. That's it for me for today. Till next time, peace.